What's up YouTubers? We've come to Cradle Mountain today. It is the second last day of winter and as is now becoming custom for us last few days of winter we come to Cradle to go for a walk up onto the plateau. Since, uh, since we've arrived in Tassie we've well not so much we but me have come to Cradle for a day walk to celebrate the end of winter and as has happened over the past three years now look at that absolute perla of a day so given it is the 30th of August 2019 you might be wondering what the temperature is second last day of winter it is a balmy minus six degrees Celsius I can hardly feel my cheeks it's so cold but there's dead calm conditions so I'll actually just come down to the boat shed before I start my walk proper just to have a look at Dove Lake because the large part of it is covered in oh look at that ice oh, and is that one of the most spectacular sights in Tasmania on a morning like this, dead calm, clear conditions, snow, cradle, boat shed, dove lake. This is the sensory overload. Spectacular. So I'm actually standing on Dove Lake. And the ice, pretty thick around the edges. So the plan for today, to celebrate the end of winter, is just to head up to Kitchen Hut, like we've done the past two years. Now we're going to take a slightly different route this year, so we're going to go up over Hanson's Peak, across the Lake Rodway Junction, and then we'll see if we can get across on face track. A bit of snow over on the right hand side, but it looks like the, clear, the track seems reasonably clear from here, so we'll just see, see how it goes, comes. If there's too much snow, too slippery, we'll just turn around and go somewhere else for the day. So it's about 7.30 in the morning. Hardly anybody around, just the odd hardy little hiker. A couple have already set off for the summit. This is what it's all about. Days like today. Magic. It would have been a great day to go for a kayak on Dove Lake. You can see it's just kind of like sheet ice. Pretty much. As far as you can see, it's all covered in ice. Amazing. I guess that's what minus six degrees give you, gives you. So, we'll, we'll head off now. Start heading up towards Hanson's Peak. I must say, for minus six, maybe it's warmed up to minus five. It's actually quite bitingly comfortable. I don't have all my layers on, so oh wow, look at that. You just want to take photo after photo. It's just mental. Yeah, it's freezing cold, but a comfortable freezing cold. 
the sun is up, it has zero bite at the moment. So again, the plan for today, basically just hug the, hug the rim all the way around. And we'll see how far we can get a couple of good chunks of solid snow in the middle there. Oh gee. So this is new for me at least, uh, the new glacier rock platform. I can understand the reasons why, but uh, it's kind of a shame in a way. But the way society is today. It kind of needed to happen. Focus on the views. It's that distant roar from right back in the, the gully there at the end of Dove Lake. Not quite finished, but almost there. Up we go. So it's actually first time back to Cradle in not since March, I think, four or five months. A bit unusual for given we come up here so often. So it's good to be back I'm trying out my new Mac Pack Day Pack. We'll do a proper review of it, but. 35 litre, I forget the model, but like I say, we'll do a proper review after today. But so far it's very comfortable. I don't have a lot of weight in it, but still, the harness is easy to adjust, adjust and fits well on the hips. Oh, building up a good a bit of sweat here, so I'm just at the top of well, the Twisted Lakes track junction, Twisted Lakes, around there, heading up to Henson's Peak. Take it off multiple layers and warm one up. Now it is all uphill. So. Uh, Dove Lake car park 25 minutes from there to here that's a good little climb that it's the blood pumping it's what you need when it's minus 5 plenty of ice about given that we're on the kind of in the shadow here on the east side of Dove Lake It is imposing, Anson's Peak, basically going straight up that little crevasse in the middle there. Oh. Might be bone chilling cold, but that breeze is nice. Base of the chains now on Hanson's Peak, so it's certainly a lot bigger, steeper, longer than going up by the Marion's chains. I've done a video if you want to check that out, it shows you the ascent up the chains, bit of fun. And the views keep getting better. Just put my sticks away and then we'll get into it. Alright, so here we are, actual base of the chains. So that's not gonna film much of this because it is a little bit icy. But there's not that much to it. 
there, it's longer. Longer, steeper than Marion's, but lots of footholds, lots of handholds. So it's nothing really to be afraid of at all. Probably wouldn't want to do it in the wet or ice, much icier than what it is today. Living the dream today. Halfway up. I've got to say, I reckon it's probably easier than Marin's because it's really it's very straight. Heaps of footholds, handholds. The only thing unpleasant today is this the chain. Far out. It is biting cold to touch. So it's kind of, I guess, loosely split into two, ch two chunks this. The top half where there are a couple of big stretches and then the bottom half, lots of little footholds. Uh, there you go, top of the chains. You're still not at the top of Hanson's Peak. It's another 100 metres or so on. Oh. The breeze is picking up. So the only thing really of note, oh. with that top part of Hanson's peak chains, there are a couple of long reaches. So if you've got little legs, It's on a snow. If you've got little legs, it is a bit of a stretch. You just have to haul yourself up by the chain. And here we are, top of Hanson's Peak. South of us, here are the overland peaks. There's Pelion West, covered in snow. Up Pelion East, way off in the distance, Cathedral Mountain. Ah, oh, we. There's a helicopter, way, way, way off in the distance. Looks like it's Windermere Hutway. Sweating like a pig, but it's cold, real cold. I reckon it's still, still hovering near zero, I reckon. There's snow on all the higher peaks, off into the distance. Anyway. Time for a bite to eat, and then we'll head on down to the, the little emergency hut at the Scott Kilvert track junction. on the track here. It's like it's alive with the water what running underneath it. It's a little bit slippery underfoot here so it's steady as she goes. Twisted lakes. Completely frozen over. How amazing is this? I'm gonna get too close because it's super icy. Oh, that's solid as. A nice skating rink. Let's see how. 
It's a good centimetre thick. Whew, that's cold. Well, I... Pretty amazing. Oh, it's worth the... Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a shame you can't pick that up on the GoPro. I know you won't, but each of these little bits pinging, it's a little chain reaction, they hit each other. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I could do this all day. Gee whiz, that's. Uh, Good centimetre thick. <laughs> small things amuse small minds, right? <laughs> Little bits of ice I've chucked. Gee, it must have gone at least. 80, 60, 70, 80 metres, easy, beautiful spot, Twisted Lakes. Super icy around the back here, I'll find out shortly enough. Right, of course I haven't done face track before, I just can't work out where it's where it's gone. Can I see the whole part of the track when it gets to that little escarpment, but time will tell. This is super icy this track. Oh yeah, so we're at that track junction now, so down to Lake Rodway, face track that way. Let's go have a little look at the little emergency hut. Wolf down some chocolate. Didn't feel much of that from Hanson's Peak to here, but that track was just slippery dip. Solid ice. Cute little hut this. Knock knock. Anybody home? Pretty cool little hut that. It's good to stop there for a bite to eat out of the wind. Now we move on to the main focus of the day. Because I haven't done this before, the track's a little imposing. I don't know what's ahead of me. I reckon it kind of somehow goes up and then back. Face track. So it goes right underneath the cliff, the main cradle. Kind of view right along the base of the, the Dolorite cliff. Making good time so we're in no rush. It's only 10.30. Not looking to push it today at all. We'll just take it as it comes and see see what this track's like. Pretty gentle start at the moment. Just gradually making our way up to this cliff face. Still plenty of ice. Yeah, 
Here's a view already of Dove Lake I've never seen. It's pretty really specky. And now it's becoming a bit more clear. So it looks like there's a bit of a little bit of a gully through there. So from a distance. Oh well. And from a distance you kinda of look like you're climbing the cliff here, but look at that. Yeah, they were full on ice, those steps. Uh, a little icy rocky section. Steep little pinch there. Yeah, certainly the worst of it, or the steepest part of it. It's not too bad at all. with most things and you don't know what it is you're a little bit apprehensive but we're pretty much at the pretty much at the base now so we're just going to be going horizontally across wow wait look at that Sanson's peak over there Dove Lake car park right at the end So according to Strava, 4.4k. Uh, starting to get a bit of snow here. Looks like a bit of a pocket, but I heard voices. I don't know where from. They kind of sounded like they were actually above me. She's odd. You can actually see people over there on the distance from the just near kitchen hut. Certainly nobody's been here today, although I am treading in reasonably new kind of footprints from the past few days I reckon those voices would surely be people down there just doing the Dove Lake circuit it didn't sound like they were above me. There's that steep bit, the exposed bit. You see foot tracks walking right across it. Yeah, I don't know, we'll have a look. I'm not going to push it. What a view. Needs a little turn off to the, get down to the track or down to Dove Lake. Haven't done this one either. We'll do this another day. Two hours from here.
got to remember to look up and take in the view. I'm just focusing on where my foot steps are. I'm treading at the moment. Spectacular. So far, so good. We're probably about halfway across, maybe a bit more. And that's not that bad of a track actually, even with snow. So a few pockets there where I went into halfway up machines. And I think this second half is the steeper bit. So I just had three French guys walk in the opposite direction. So I said it is a bit hairy up ahead, so I think we'll just about call it quits. And then three German guys just overtook me, like mountain goats. Nice and phasing them. I'm not so not reckless, but not on mirroring on the side of caution here. See the German guys. You see how steep that is. I'm calling it quits here. My heart is going through my mouth. And then you know, when it's dry, no snow, this will be, be simple enough because there'll be a track you can see, but snow poles going there. I was wondering if the track should be going up there, not Just not prepared. I don't know how to be. Dry, snow's dry powder, not slippery, but. No point pushing it if I'm not comfortable, and I'm not comfortable. Got a good feel for what the track's like. We know what it's like from. Oh, look, there's even more walkers on the other end near Kitchen Hut, must be just around the corner. We've walked a little bit from that end, but it was pea soup fog, so we couldn't see anything. So this section here is probably about the only bit now that I haven't, haven't experienced. It's kind of tempting to go down around there, but that's pretty steep. Enough is enough. That's a shame. Won't reach, won't reach Kitchen Hut today, but anyway. Plenty of time to do that over summer. We'll come back and compare. So my knees are kind of shaking watching these guys. Germans, so they're probably used to the Bavarians, Bavarian Alps, mountain lions. Not a soft little wussy IT person from Launceston. <laughs> Actually quite nice here, out of the wind. Kind of the sun's warming me up. German guys have disappeared. Laughing as they went, enjoying themselves. But I'm heading back that way. I'll be somebody else coming towards me. I'll just watch this guy, see where he comes from. And the three German guys, they made it across safely. The more I stay here, the more I'm tempted, but I'm not. I'm very risk adverse nowadays since my accident. I'll just stay here and watch this other couple who are now coming across shortly around the, the corner here. See which way they go out of interest. The towering peaks above us, the people who do that ridgeline summit walk, they are mental. I 
I might actually even just wait for these couple to pass me and then I can kind of gently follow them because there's still a few little steep sections there which are a bit a bit, a bit iffy heading back down instead of coming back up oh, and more people gee it's a popular track this one you wouldn't know it by the footprints looks like a lot of people have tried and maybe turned back what a spot Beautiful. German guys are probably looking at me going, what's he doing? We want to watch him cross. <laughs> Even though that's reasonably solid snow, you can just see here. It's what? About a metre deep. Just a big pocket out of nowhere. I don't see any pockets opening up, but with my luck, I'd probably find one. So I'm kind of starting to go a little snow blind here, it's so bright. The sun is on. So that guy, he was clearly very experienced because he's came around the lip, stopped. Looks like his missus caught him back, and now they've both retreated. So they're not even coming across. So good call. Not trying to go across, so I'm going to head back, go back to the hut for lunch at that little Scott Kewitt junction turn off. So I'm just going to very gingerly make my way back. Oh, right, yeah, here and that was a little bit hairy coming down, a bit easier going up, but coming down. I'm kind of looking at how steep it is. <laughs> Yeah, I've come quite a way across. I didn't realise it. They really were just the final couple hundred metres or so, then we would have been right across. Uh, heart rate's coming back down now. I'm over the worst of it, so that's. And so here comes some guy screaming past me. <laughs> People have no fear. I'm not one of them. And from here it looks near vertical. Uh, a couple more hardy soles. I just had one guy pass me. He, he was trying for the summit. And he said he just had to turn back. Just got a bit too sketchy up the top of the ice. He's gone. Probably about halfway along here, face track. Halfway from either end. If it wasn't for the snow, it would almost be worth just bush bashing a little, just up to the top of the ridge line there. That's not that steep, it's easily manageable. Up a little creek gully. Too tempting a target. So it's like a little, it's obviously a little walking track, a running creek. But it's only taken five minutes. Oh, yes! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow! That's a definite detour worth taking. A little steep scramble, but wow. Scott Kilbert Hut down there, Lake Robway. Yeah, 
Ballion West, Mount Ossa. Kind of second from the left there in the distance. I just don't want to leave. This is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't have thought it getting up onto the ridge line. So that's, if you're looking at Cradle from Dove Lake, that's the right hand peak. That's the left hand peak. And that little dip in the middle is right here. Amazing. Not that hard to get to either. This a little goat track. You gotta scramble your way up, but just don't want to leave. <laughs> a bit blowy out here. If you get behind the rock, that's nice. Just savour the views. I didn't film it coming up, just wanted to focus, but this is kind of what the track's like. Just down to that boulder down there, that's the face track. So it's five minute scramble. A bit snowy in places, but in summer this would be a clear track. Halfway down, just kind of sliding down on my bum pretty much. And there's the snow pole for the track, just beyond that big boulder. What a little gem! Back on face track proper now. Just heading over to that section where it's go through that little rock gully. So while I didn't get across face track, that was quite the reward. There's that track junction. And we'll save this for another day. I'd like to go back by Hanson's Peak today. It's a bit tiring trying to get through the snow because you just don't know what you're treading on. Sometimes you're up to your ankles, just halfway up to your knees. Looks like we're over most of the snow now. Oh yeah. Here's that little escarpment we kind of go through. Whew. Cracking track that. Face track. Definitely coming back to complete it during the upcoming summer. So even looking at it from here, you think, how do you get up there? But it's, it's very easy through that little crack in there. I reckon during summer, without that big 80 degree snow bank, you'd easily get across the kitchen hut. And you can do the full loop. Lake. Oh yeah, look at that. That was a sheet of ice a couple of hours ago. My belly's full now. Nice little break there in that hut. So I'll just gingerly make my way back to Dove Lake. So I'm going back via Hanson Peak again, down the chains this time. So even looking at face track from here, you think, how do you get up there? And now I know, it's through that little crack on the right. Great track. It's nice here this afternoon. 
Wind's kind of backed off. Uh, so I'm seeing that kind of dip between the two spires. That's where I went. Oh, look, see people trying to cross that void. Four of them. Gee whiz. It's got to be 75 degrees or more that angle. Top of Hanson's Peak now. Let's head back down. Hey, what a day. Absolute crack river walk. Hanson's Peak face track. Gives you a bit of a feel for walking this time of year, last last week or the second last day of winter. It's amazing how last week of winter for the past three years we've had this kind of weather. Big juicy high pressure system kind of waddling its way over Tassie so you got to get out and make the most of it because it's going to be absolutely pissing down for the next week so Got my money's worth today. Crack and walk. Good experience though. One for the memory banks. Always good to push the boundaries a little. So there you go. That's Hanson's Peak face track at Cradle Mountain for you. Feel free to give you give us a thumbs up. Or better yet, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you you think of our, of our little hiking experiences. Might have only been one of us, two in Tasmania today, but feel free to subscribe so you keep updated when we put up new videos. So thanks for watching, might see you again next time on trial.